All right, what's going on, guys? So I haven't made a video on Story Framework in a while, but with the update of Comet Fury and Story Framework, I thought it would be a good idea to come back here and make a, another integration video for Combat Fury with Story Framework because some things have changed. But honestly, it's actually a lot easier now to add these two projects together. So that's what we're going to do in this video today. And yeah, so let's just get started. Oh, by the way, some things aren't working and I'll get around to them when I can, but I'm just going to show off all of the main stuff. So all of the main stuff like interactive with this guy for example all of that stuff works you can even interact with this chair for example the only thing that i'm not going to show in this video is how to set this up where like your character is going to show and your sword is going to be hidden for example but i do have a video on that on how to make cinematics in combat fury and story framework so you can watch that if you do want to learn how to do it it is pretty easy to set up too but anyway let's get started i'm going to make a new project using combat fury i'm going to migrate story framework to that project so we are going to be using 5.6 here and the reason for that is so we can get the combat fury with game animation sample already integrated okay so we have our project here next let's just open up story framework and in story framework before we migrate anything let's just go to edit project settings and then go to collision you're gonna see that there's this collision here called interaction we double click on it and copy the name and then we can exit out of here and then all you need to do is just go to the content folder right click on story framework migrate find wherever your folder is wherever your project is sorry click on okay right here click on content on your project and then click on select folder okay so that's done one more thing i wanted to mention is your layout for unreal engine might be a little bit different than mine so if you go to window and load layout you can change this to uh, unreal engine 4 classic layout if you want that's all up to you if you want to do that i just kind of like this layout a little bit more anyway we can close this project now and open up our project that we just created all right so let's quickly go to edit and then go to project settings go to collision and then add a new trace channel here paste that name that we copied from story framework we'll change this to ignore click on accept and then close this actually we need to go back to it so edit project settings then go to maps and molds and change this game instance to game instance BP, SF game instance BP. And now if we go to story framework and if you don't have your filters, you can click on this button here to add filters. So you can add the level, for example, I'm only doing this so I can find the example map a little bit faster. So I'm just going to open up the example map. Let's just make sure that everything is working. So if we press on play here, we're going to interact with everything. That's great. So now let's go to the world settings. If you don't see it, windows, world settings. Go to world settings, game mode, and then let's browse to this demo character here. And we're going to open him up and just going to block him over there. Come back to him later. We're also going to open up this demo player controller and we'll just leave that there for a second. And then what we're going to do is just change this to GM sandbox. There's Combat Fury here too, but the sandbox one is the one that's using the game animation sample character. We'll just click on that. Let's press play real quick. So this is going to literally break everything. There we go. We've got some errors. That's fine. And now what we're going to do is if we go to player controller browse to it and open this pc sandbox over here what we're going to do is grab all of these nodes here that are in white boxes and we're just going to copy every single one of them so just copy all of them and then go back to the demo player controller go to the event graph go to begin play and we're just going to paste them in here like this you can delete this custom event here this was a begin play but because we already have one in this project that turned into a custom event and just connect it up like this now if we go back to the world settings change this player controller to the sf play uh, demo player controller press play real quick you're gonna see like the character's broken now which is fine like he moves really weird and we have all of these errors which is fine we can exit out of this pc sandbox here and then in the demo player controller go back to the event graph and we have this generic movement here which we don't need anymore we can just delete all of this stuff we can delete it and our character won't be moving anymore so as you can see here that i can't move the character i can only move the camera it's fine so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to story framework go to core blueprints example input then open up this imc here this gameplay underscore imc sf and go to mappings and in here we're going to add all of the combat fury inputs basically so for example jump 
we're going to change this jump to ia underscore jump and you see the path says combat fury so this is the one we want we're going to do the same thing for the move ia move now we're not going to do the same thing for the look though i kind of prefer the look that's in story framework more than the look that's in combat fury so i'll just leave this as it is and then a lot of these stuff i'm not going to be using just because i'm going to be using the gameplay camera and not the story framework camera and i'll talk about that a little bit more later on once we get to it but yeah everything else here should be fine how it is the one thing that i would suggest though is to change the inventory key so change this to say i instead of tab because tab is using the combat fury skill tree and another thing is this interaction key is using the left mouse button it's also using e left mouse button is attacking so we don't need that and this sub interaction key is f i don't know where to put this so i'm going to put on g the f is for dodge for combat fury but again you can do whatever you want there it doesn't have to be f doesn't have to be g it doesn't have to be anything you want anyway next we're going to add another mapping in here and we're going to add all of the uh combat fury ones so light attack for example is going to be added in here this is the left mouse button and you're going to add your heavy attack which me i like to put this on q because my heavy attack is more like a special and then we also have the lock on lock on lock on is middle mouse for me and we also have dodge dodge is f i think that's everything uh, there's one more which is interact uh but we'll get to that in a second because there's a little bit of a setup for that so i'll just leave this open um how it is and now if we press play we should be able to run around we can do our attacks oh blocking aiming that's it so there's one more aim i'm pretty sure it's aim right yeah combat fury aim which will be right mouse button and that should be able to aim and block yeah there we go okay so that's all done now to get rid of this error here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the demo character the one we opened up earlier and he's got a default camera in here this uh sf default camera we're gonna copy it and we're just gonna go to our character now so browse your character sandbox character and we're going to just paste it in here like this and this should be already attached to the spring arm but if it's not you can just drag it into the spring arm like that press on compile and this is going to like replace the gameplay camera for this which i really don't like so if you want to keep it and mess around with it you can and it's going to give you like some functionalities like like um like first person for example this is supposed to be first person but because the camera's kind of messed up it's like you know as you can see like we've got a uh, lot functionalities here that you can play around with but again i'm just not gonna bother uh, i kind of like the gameplay camera a little bit more so so i'm gonna just use the gameplay camera anyway so what i'm gonna do is in our character click on the default camera in details i'm gonna search for auto i'm gonna disable the auto activate and that should just get rid of that give us back our gameplay camera and if we exit there's no more errors fantastic cool so to get the interactions to work if we go to the demo player character go to interaction manager then go to interaction reach here in details just change this to 525 and that should work now yeah so that's working that's cool yeah another thing i like to do is i don't like the widget um, you guys can keep it if you want, but me personally, I'm just going to go to Story Framework and go to Widget Blueprint. Again, you can find it over here. All filters, then User Interface, Widget Blueprint. And what you want to find is this general HUD. What you can do is you can just hide some of these things. So if you just click on one of these over here in the hierarchy, like the inventory icon, for example, you can just click on it and then go to Visibility and Hidden if you don't want it. You can move them around, put them wherever you want, for example. But me personally, I just don't want this widget at all so i'm just going to click on the entire widget and like uh, go here in general hard and then go to visibility and go to hidden and that should get rid of everything so that also gets rid of the cursor but i don't really need the cursor too much you can have it if you want another thing i like to do as well is i like to change these interactables to be a bigger collision so if you click on one of them and go to interaction data, you're going to see that there's this custom collision radius here. So I'm just going to change this to something like 70 or 100, something like that. And that's just going to make it a bigger collision box. So once we get near it, it just it prompts it to interact, basically, if that makes sense. So there, I think there's one little issue that we have here. And I don't really know how to fix this. Inventory doesn't work. So with inventory, if I press I, I can't press like any other button, but I can press P to pause the game and then press I again and that will like close the inventory so yeah that's just one thing that i haven't gone around to try to fix but if you guys do know how to fix it uh just comment down below it will be much appreciated okay cool so we've pretty much got everything done so there's one more thing that we need to do well there's like two more
more things that we need to do but there's this over here so we're, like when we go in this area here we won't be able to interact with this here so what we can do is just change this to like a hundred or something like that and that's still not going to fix it but um if we go to we can close out this as well this demo character we don't need it anymore but if we go to the player controller and then edit go to uh, interaction manager click on edit and um, edit interaction manager and then what we're going to do is go to find results you can go to windows and go to find results if you don't have it we're going to search for trace and you're going to see that we have these trace channels here but the one that we're looking for is the multi-sphere trace and this is using the traversable for the trace channel we want it to use the interaction and i am hoping that that works okay there we go yeah so that works now you need to make this a little bit bigger so what i usually do is have it on 75 but if you make this on 100 and just move this a little bit closer to the edge and then also just change this trace channel to be interaction yeah you should be good to go and the last thing that we need to do here is we're going to need if we go to our sandbox character and go to combat graph you're going to see that we have some of these inputs here that aren't enhanced inputs we need to change these to be using enhanced inputs so for the interaction for example this grab weapon i'll just show you what happens if you don't do it if we just quickly go to combat fury and a search for weapon and i'll grab this weapon here this bp underscore weapon and then in details in loaded weapon the weapon name is going to be sword because if we go to the weapon state here you can see that we have this sword and we also have dual swords i'll just use the sword that's fine and then i'll make sure that this is interactable and if we go to it the pop-up should work yeah, the pop-up works, but we won't be able to like pick it up, even though like in our character, it's, you know, we have a key here for picking it up. But what we need to do is add an interaction key here. So we have one already set up in Combat Fury. So we can just use this one, connect that up like this. And then we need to go to the IMC here and add another mapping. And this mapping is going to be the interact for Combat Fury, interact. And we can also change this to be E. And now if we pr press play again, you can see that we can pick this up. But we can't equip it so you're gonna need to also change this as well to be something so what i'll suggest to do is go to either combat fury or story framework it doesn't really matter in combat fury for example we'll go to content demo content inputs and then we can just copy any one of these like the light attack for example and then i can just name this and then what we'll do is we'll go to the IMC or story framework and then we'll just add that in. So now we have this equip and I'll put this, I'll put this on the R key and go back to sandbox character, search for IA equip this one right here plug that into there and that's all you need to do so you have to do that for any of your uh inputs you can't just use like normal keys like this you would have to like actually make enhanced inputs for them for them to actually work so now if i press play i've got this weapon and i can equip it and i can attack I can block, I can do my projectiles, I can talk to this dude, what's up dude? Do have that little issue there as well. If I press E now, we're gonna see that we have nothing to grab and that's from Combat Fury. So if we go to our character, sandbox character, and then we go to grab item event, and then in here, if we go to add HP, you can just get rid of this print string here and that will fix the issue. So now if I go and grab that weapon again and I press E, you're gonna see that that print string doesn't come on. Honestly, that's not really a huge deal though anyway it's not like the print string is gonna really like matter yeah, especially when you like a like, your game or anything like that but it's just nice to not have it on the screen i guess but yeah anyway that's gonna be it hopefully you liked the video and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one